Um, do you think that there are any underrated ideas buried away in kind of older, more esoteric programming languages uh, that should be barred by the mainline? Yeah, it's been, it's been interesting how a lot of the ideas have been kind of have been borrowed by the JavaScript ecosystem and in a strange way, like through the web inspector, yep. <laughs> um, where you have this, I mean, that, that's one of the richest run times in some sense that people have you know, general, general exposure to. I don't think JavaScript has first class stack frames. Mm -hmm. um, maybe there's some weird extension or something where you can get that, but, it, but you know, ro ro um, ECMAScript uh, uh, doesn't have that, I'm pretty sure. First class stack frames actually let you do a lot of other things for kind of obvious reasons, so maybe that's very, that's kind of too specific. Um, I mean, I think the idea of, and, and maybe this is what Cursor becomes, I think the basic idea of as development environment and not just text editor is really the right idea. And that's the mm -hmm. thing I want to see a return to. That's the thing that the Lisp machines had and Genera. That's the thing that to some extent Mathematica has. That's the thing that Smalltalk has. And I think it's just such a mistake that we have ended up with development environments where there is such a separation between the runtime and the text editing and the um, and the environment in which the code, mm -hmm. I mean, yep. well, the runtime and the place where the code runs can be the same or different, but, but yep. there are kind of three maybe slightly conceptually different things. Uh, and in those three environments, they can all coexist in the same place. And I, like, I mean, still to this day, I use Mathematica a lot, not because I'm doing some particularly arcane you know, symbolic mathematics, but because it's just a more efficient development environment. Now, that's maybe a bit less true with uh, LLMs because the Mathematica, you know, uh, um, Mathematica does not support, support cursor-style prompted development, um, but uh, but uh, th that I think is the core idea that that I wish others would borrow. And VS Code has been a step to some extent, slightly in that direction. But I think we could take it way further, and 